Okay, we have uh, two circuits here sharing the uh, same neutral, and we're going to put two GFIs on it. And I'll show you how that is done. We strip about a half of an inch off the uh, conductors here. And we're going to use one way go here for the uh, white wires. We're going to make sure the wire is going to go into the uh, way go far enough to make connection with the uh, contact and the insulation get up underneath. So you can see that there. So I'll put it in. And I can see the uh, copper is up to the top and the insulation is butted up underneath. Okay, so we'll get some uh, pieces of uh, we're gonna have to run two white wires off of it to go to each GFI and we're going to strip about a half an inch off Okay, so we'll put our two tails into the way go here. I make sure I feel the, I see a little copper here before I uh, push that in, so I'll push it in. And I'll do the same with the other one here. I see a little bit of the copper at the bottom here before I push it in, so I know it's going to be making contact. And I push it in and I make sure the copper goes up towards the top. So I have two white wires now. One for each GFI. Now I have a tail going to the box here. Tail coming from the power. And I have to go to both GFIs. And I'll just use a standard wire nut for this. Okay, I'll take and twist my first two wires to get them started. I'll get them even here at the end and I'll twist them in, get them started. Okay, so I will take my other two wires here and I will uh, get them so that the uh, copper is even at the end here and I'll twist them in. Okay, I'll look at my uh, end here. I'll just bring these back a little bit. So uh, now all four wires, one, two, three, four, are even at the bottom here. All of them are perfectly even. So I'll put the wire nut on.
So we're going to put one GFI on the black and the white and the other one on the uh, red and the white. We'll take our GFI, we'll close the screws that we're not using. And you'll see where it says line here and load here. This is the line because it's the live side. And we will put the live wire in on, we'll put the white in on this side. Push it in all the way, make sure the, uh, and we'll turn it. We'll get the ground under that little plate there. And we'll put the red over here, making sure we get the we get the copper up under that plate. And we'll hook up our uh, second GFI here. So we will uh, turn in the load screws because we're not going to be using them. Okay, so we'll put the uh, ground under that little plate there under here. Oh, this one doesn't have a plate under it. This is a different brand, so we're going to have to make a loop on this one because uh, not all of them have that little pressure plate under the uh, ground screw. And we'll close that loop around the screw. See how I close the loop around the screw on this one? Okay, now we'll put our white wire in and make sure the copper goes up under that pressure plate there. And we'll put our black on the live side where it says line. So I'll bring the camera over and I'll let you take a closer look at it so you can see how it is wired. We have uh, 120 volts between the black and the white, 120 between the red and the white, and there is a uh, 220, 240 between the red and the black because they're on uh, opposite legs of the 240 and that is so you don't overload the uh, shared neutral going to the two GFIs. Peace. Thanks for watching. And there is a top view of it all done.